Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing what I take camping, meaning the things that you would sleep in, sleep on, or have some sort of shelter, or something that makes it easier to be camping, um, like supplies. So, the first thing I'm going to show is like shelters. This is my Kelty tent. It's a Sol Solida 2. Uh, I butcher a lot of things. I have a speech indefinite or in impairment or something. I have issues with speaking. Um, so that's the tent. Awesome tent. Um, I'm going to use it this year. Then next is a Oak Creek Outdoor Supply hammock, um, tarp, and bug net on the hammock. This thing is awesome. I've used this not for like going out overnight, but just just bumping around the backyard. Awesome. Then what goes with that hammock is this like tent type of thing. Um, I'll link everything in the description the best I can, uh, but it kind of looks like almost like a house, but it like folds down real small. Like, you can see how small that is. It's not in here, it's actually next to me. Um, then this is a camp pillow. This is a Teton uh, Comfort Light pillow. It's about 12 ounces, 18 by 10 inch by 4 inches that it blows up to, like four inches like that. Super, super comfortable. I have used this out camping. Very, very awesome. 100% like I would recommend it. Then I have this little cheap pillow I got when I was back in like Boy Scouts like years ago and works good to this day. Alright, I use it as something where you put this, and then you use this as like a prop. It's good to be comfortable in the wild. So, this right here is my Climate Static V2. Um, this, I have slept on multiple times with camping, and it is insanely comfortable. You don't need a cot. Um... And you literally just need this, a pillow, like like this, and a sleeping bag. And this is almost like a memory foam that action that it does, where it forms to your physical body. So, highly recommend this. This is my 30 degree um, sleeping bag, or it could be 20, not quite sure. It's from North Face. This thing is like... 14, 15 years old or something. It's old. Uh, this is my first ever sleeping bag and it still keeps me warm. I don't think it really is put up to, you know, winter camping now, but for summer camping or fall, spring, like right now period, this works great. Then, this is a main company. This is by a company called Buyer, right here in Maine. Um, I'm blanking on where Buyer uh, company is in Maine, but I, it, I know it's probably up closer to like Bangor. I think that's where it was. And this is a TLC 7000 cot. Now, what I just said about not having a cot, that pad is very nice. But when you add this onto it, it just makes it so you literally don't even get up in the night. You don't want to get out of this combination. You literally will sleep just through the night. You, you won't have any issues. If you're pretty good at sleeping in the woods. Um, but you sleep so soundly with us. Uh, it's, this is light too. Um, I like ultralight stuff. I'm blanking on what the weight of this. But... It's very, very light. I can tell you from holding this right now, it's probably like 
three to four pounds, I think it was. I'll link as much as I can of this stuff in the description. I'll try and find the sleeping bag. It is North Face, but it's like a really older version of what could be the new one. I'll put the new one on on the, uh, the description of this video. Um, so, that's just one thing. If I can find the old one, I'll, I'll put that in the description, but there's a slim chance for that. Next is this Reliance toilet cover. Uh, I do have it on a Home Depot bucket. Uh, I'm just going to say, Home Depot, my favorite place to go. Um, you can literally, anything if you want to build something, go there. Amazing stuff. Uh, right now, it's probably not the best idea because this is, you know, what's happening in the world. Uh, I'd rather just stay here. I'm, I'm pretty good at uh, being not as much social. It's one of my issues. Um, nice good trash bag. That's, that's why I like going out in the woods and camping. Because you literally have nothing around you. Not even roads where some places I go. Um, and I think that's awesome. Hear the nature. What, what it truly is. Like the, you, you have to be out where there's no nothing. Uh, I would say go to something called the Golden Road in Maine. And you just walk on some of the trails around there. Nothing. It's just you hear nature. And if you stop talking, it's just quiet. But it's it's amazing scenery too. So highly recommend the hiking around there. Not during uh, fall because grouse season and deer season and moose and bear. So wear orange is what I say. Like this. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I'm probably am gonna do that. Then this right here is my minus ten degree. Um, Alps Outdoors sleeping bag. This is like a plaid, so it's not like that plasticky feeling like what this one is. This one has almost that fleece feel to it, and I like that more than the plastic feeling because I actually like sweat badly, so like having a plastic doesn't, it, it like sticks to me. So when I have this, I don't have as much issues. It like puts air through a lot more. It's like a lot more like warming, but like you're not going to sweat. Um, so if you're like zero degrees out, this would be like made you feel like you're right next to your fire. You don't need a fire if you use this, if you're winter camping. But if you're winter camping, I would recommend a fire next to this, but not like right next to it or you melt it. Um, this you could actually fold it over into like half and use that as a pad and then you sleep with us. Then this right here is a Sea to Summit pocket shower. Like I've used this thing after going swimming. Just it's it's awesome. I, I usually go up to my mom's camp and swim in like June. Um, and we usually like have uh for like if you, your bathing suit, okay, you take bath with a bathing suit, your family's around, you gotta be courteous. Um, unless if you're a different type of family, but that's on you. Um, this is a 10 liter shower. Um, all you do is you fling it over a branch, like some rope, and you pull the bag up that's 10 liters. You have to be a little bit strong. You could probably ask somebody to help you if you can't lift 10 liters um, and you tie it on to a tree um, or like right next to you so it's like an angle or something and it goes like you, you, you put it to however tall you are I'm like 5'11 so I probably need to put this at like that six and a half uh, to seven feet high because I can reach that um, and all you need to do if you want warm water if it's the winter boil some water take some water from like an area that has cold water or not really the winter but like more toward the fall take some cold water add it with some boiling water 
do that little mixture type of thing, cool the water down, shove it in here, you got nice toasty water, you can take a shower. Or, if you're in June or July, all you do is you take the water, lake water, pond water, river, stream, brook, um, and just shove it straight in the bag. And I tell you, it works. Um, it's not really like blasting water at your face type of thing, but it works as being a shower. If you know how to shower with low pressure, you'd be good with this. Um, it does have this one piece that I think is pretty awesome. Um, blanking on what it's called, the military uses them. Um, it's a piece where you can attach it onto the side of your bag so you don't have to shove this in your bag, you put it on the side. I do have those attachments on my other bags for Alps Outdoors that same company as this and those are camo bags and I have attachments for that but I just go ahead and just throw this in the bag and like it's so small so I'll have other videos coming out of what I take catching do my catching cooks um, and then maybe a air gun arsenal um, video and then my real gun arsenal uh, video of me real guns as uh, sh shotguns that I would take like grouse hunting and the shotgun I mean I only have one um, and then a deer rifles to when I go deer rifle hunting um, or deer hunting in general and I'll probably even have a video on what my bows are and super super nice bows uh, both my parents helped me with those um, but I'll have a video coming sooner or later out of that, so, sweet.